Okay, so I'm a little bit uh, sick today, so I have a sore throat, so I'm not going to do a full tutorial, but what I thought I'd show you is something cool. Now that the documentation is available, uh, I, I've been playing around with this a little bit, and this is what I have found. So if we go to our character mannequins and IK rig, any IK rig, open it up. One moment, it's in the wrong window. There we go. And w with the full body IK already set up on all your chains, if you go to the goals, like so, and scroll down to exposure and tick expose position and expose rotation and you do that on all your goals like so there we go okay with those exposed they are now available in blueprints so we could for example um, let's go to our characters again and mannequins and I'm going to create a folder and call it experimental for now. And I'm going to create for now we'll just create an actor blueprint and we'll call this Mane BP. And open that up. And we'll drag Manny in. Go to meshes and drag Manny in. Hit compile. Now what I want to do is create an animation blueprint for this. So let me go back to my experimental folder. Right click. Animation. And animation blueprint. And we're searching for money again. Oops. SK. Yep. SK mannequin. And create that. Let's rename that to money. Oops. Money. I'm sorry, I'm really not with it today. Just bear with me, please. Very informal today. Manny BP uh, 1, we'll call that. And then if we come into our blueprint and we assign that animation blueprint in here, hit compile, save. Let's open up that animation blueprint now. Okay. So here is our animation blueprint. Let's just adjust some of these windows so we've got more room to work with. It's showing Quinn at the moment. Let me choose Manny. And we'll just do input pose for this, maybe. Input pose. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually drag off from here. Type IK rig. There it is and drag that over to there. Okay, select the IK rig node and in the details panel, choose our IK rig, which in this case is, yep, IK mannequin. There we go. And because we have exposed those values inside the IK rig, they appear here now, look, which is great. So what this means is if we zoom in, let's just zoom in to Manny and then we adjust these IK goals. Like so. And hit compile. You'll see his arm goes up in the air. So the IK rig is now exposed to blueprints, which is fantastic. And what we can do then is drag off and promote to a variable. And we will do it for angle rotation. Hit 
hit compile and there we go then if we go back to our actor blueprint come into the event graph drag off uh, event tick and cast to many bp one is it yeah yeah okay and then we drag in our money and search for anim instance get anim instance there it is and we drag that into object like so and then if we drag off here and let's say for example type in hand and we can get or set our goal position and rotations so let's set the left hand position drag off into there and then we compile we should have no warnings no everything's fine so now if i if we look here we can now edit that value look so we have full control of our ik rig from within the blueprint obviously it's not perfect and and it would need some work but as you can imagine you can then expose this further and have it in your scene in fact let's do that now um drag off of here and promote to variable and make that public like so hit save and close all this and let's drag in our uh, um our experimental mandy bp let's zoom in and go down there like so and then with our actor blueprint created look here is our hand goal position for some reason it's not working oh we have to hit play do we let's have a look yeah there we go i forgot i was in the third person template then so look so as you can imagine you can play around and you can create logic and maybe even uh, some kind of procedural animation etc and pipe values into your ik rig now from the outside which is absolutely fantastic i'm gonna have a play around with this and come up with something interesting and maybe some tutorials in the future but for now that's all i wanted to share with you because i i have been following this ik retargets and stuff and ik rigs and i'm so happy the documentation is now available i will leave a link for that in the description thanks for watching and please like and subscribe i will be back with more tutorials in the coming days